Hi, my name is Michael, and today we want to find out how much of a difference we can hear between two guitars with the same hardware, but a different body. That's why we're going to compare the RJ842 with the Ibanez S521. Both guitars have a maple neck with a rosewood fingerboard as well as a mahogany body. Both come with the same hardware like two passive Ibanez quantum pickups, a fixed bridge, a 5-way switch, a volume and a tone up and 25 jumbo frets. The S model comes with a very nice open port finish. Whereas the RGA model has a stunning matte finish with a nice white binding around the body. Here we can clearly see the difference to a regular RG body. It is almost twice as thick as the S model, therefore it is also perfectly balanced and even more comfortable to play. It is in fact so thin that they couldn't fit all the electronics and mechanics inside the body. I would therefore absolutely recommend this guitar for people with back problems because it is unbelievably light. Typical for Ibanez is the super slim and fast wizard free neck. In this case, it's a bolt on, which offers a great and long sustain. Now we are going to find out what impact the body has on the sound of these guitars. First, we take the clean channel, set to as clean as possible, and put on a bit of reverb. And then straight from the direct out into the interface. No EQs, no compressor, or any post effects at all. We are still in the first channel, but now we poke it with some drive. And now to the second channel, all cranked up.
now for a quick solo check. The quality of this Indonesian made guitars is amazing, especially considering the price. I mean we're talking 400 euros for one of these. Both models are in my opinion a well balanced crossover between a Gibson and a Fender. Although Ibanez is already a legend itself. While the S model sounds a little bit like Teller and an SG, the RGA is a bit louder and punchier and therefore has marvelous power and stretch sound. Well one thing's for sure, there's no massive difference between these two guitars. Both are modern type super that are not only versatile but also very comfortable to play. You can easily dial in anything between clean jazzy tones to blues rock and metal. In the end, it's a question of ergonomic versus dynamic. Other than that, it's up to your taste. Alright, that's it. I really hope you liked this video. Please feel free to click the like button, hit subscribe or leave a comment and tell me which test you'd like to see next time. Thank you very much and goodbye. Stay tuned for the next episode which will feature the entry level Ibanez Geo and this Japanese build custom made Ibanez RG7.